Alright, today we're going to be learning about parallel and perpendicular lines. So in this first section, we're going to learn about parallel lines. A thing about parallel lines, for lines to be parallel, you need to have, you need the same slope. But your y-intercept needs to be different. Needs to be different. So when I'm given two lines, I need to see if the lines are parallel parallel or perpendicular. So if they are parallel, that means my slopes are going to be the same. So if I have y equals mx plus b, this is going to be the same, but my y is going, my y intercept is going to be different. All right. So my slope again is the same. My y intercept is different. So in a second, I'm going to write down our next couple of questions for our first couple of questions. Just giving you guys a time to look at this. Our question is going to be, are the graphs of two lines, so I have y equals negative 1 over 3, x plus 5, and line 2x plus 6y equals 12, parallel. Alright, so I want to know if that is parallel. So I look at my first equation, I'm left with y equals negative 1 over 3, x plus 5. I know this is my slope. So I'm going to need this second equation to have the same slope. So I'm going to write this on the side over here. So m has to be negative 1 over 3 in order for them to be parallel. If it isn't, then we know that they're not going to be parallel. So I take our second equation and rewrite it. 2x, 6y equals 12. This is in standard form, and I need to rewrite it into slope-intercept form. So I need to make it look like this guy up here. So I'm going to move this x over to the other side to try and get the y by itself. This is a positive 2x, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. It's on the side because I'm not going to add it to the 12. This becomes a 0. I'm left with 6y equals, my x goes first, negative 2x plus 12. From there, I still don't have that y by itself. I need it by itself. I have this 6. So I need to do what um, the opposite inverse. So I'm going to had a slight hiccup, sorry. So I'm going to take this 6 and I'm going to divide everything by 6 to get rid of that 6. I can simplify that guy and I'm going to get a y. I'm going to do that over here. Equals. Sorry about that. 2 and 6 have a 2 in common, so I'm going to divide the top by 2 and divide the bottom by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives me a 1. 2 goes into 6 three times. Since the 2 had a negative, this answer is also going to be negative. Bring my number. 6 goes into 12 two times and that will be positive. 
So I look at this example, I look at my second equation, look at my slope. My slope is negative 1 over 3. The first this is parallel. So it says, yes, it is parallel. Um, another way to abbreviate par parallel would be to write your, instead of parallel like this, it would be two lines that are parallel. So again, what we have to do is make sure that both graphs or both um, equations have the same slope if we're looking for a parallel line. So I look at my first equation. My slope is negative 1 over 3, so we put that to the side just so that we know where it's going to be at. I take my second equation, and it's in standard form. So I need to make it into slope-intercept form where the y is all by itself. So I'm going to move this x over. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I bring down my 6y. I get negative 2x plus 12. I can't add the 2x and the 12 because the 12 doesn't have an x. I start simplifying. 6 divided by 6 gives me just the y by itself, so y. 2 and 6 have a 2 in common, so I can divide top and bottom by 2. So 2 divided by 2 give me that negative 1, because it's negative right here. And 2 goes into 6 3 times. 6 goes into 12 2. I look at my second equation. Now that I have the slope um, available to me, it's negative 1 over 3, so that I do know that my slopes are the same. My y-intercept is 5. My y-intercept here is 2, so they are different. So yes, they are parallel.